start this steam engine if you want more shit. It doesn't make much noise. That's what this building was put in for, 1980. They took out the boilers and all that. Yeah. And converted them from steam to air. The only thing you had to do was pipe the air to it. Gotcha. And most of the piping for the steam was... So they've been in there running, building up air now. Yeah. Whole time it's been running. what they've done all their lives. These were put in in the 1800s. There was 52 of them. Wow. And the boiler ran 52 of them. And um, this, these two engines here would run like two at a time. The boiler would run two or three at a time. So, so much that every show, it would suck out all the pilot lights in town and we'd have to go light them. That's how much no it would Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Wow. Now, how long you been here? 25 years. Wow. I got this out of, all this came from a mountain in West Virginia, and this is one of the original Windy City engines. There was 52 engines. They said we could have all we wanted. We took one, and the other 51 got buried with a dozer. They're all underground. Now, this is a reversing steam engine here. Uh, as soon as Dylan comes back, they needed him up on the hill for something. Okay. Hey, look. Hey. But you reverse it because you have cable out there. And these oil wells, you have to pull all the rods out because the well would get paraffin death with paraffin wax. They wouldn't pump any more oil or gas. So you'd pull them all out one at a time and set them aside. And uh, two people got killed up there. Not with this engine, but with two of the other engines that they were putting the rod back in the hole and there's no brakes on it. You use the air for the brakes and that's not too good. And it got away from them and this outer ring exploded and went through one guy and cut him in half. He died instantly. Went his, through it? Went through his body. Wow. Where this outer ring exploded. Because this cast iron, you know, it's just... Shatters, yeah. It's just not good stuff. So it got to that much RPM, it imploded. Right. And then his nephew, got to his nephew about uh, two months later, and he lived for five days before he died. So how long the rod would go to the bottom of the well? Yeah, yeah, yeah most of these the wells were like 15 minutes. I figure. No, it would pull up and down. Well, these were all wood. Okay. These rods went down 1,500 foot. Oh, and they just keep coupling them together. Right. Which is what they do today. It's the same thing. Yeah, and they just have little cups on the bottom of them. And the coats come up, so when it goes down, it just goes down, but when it comes up, the cups will pull the oil up, and just then it'll get down, get another little cup full, until the pipe is clear full, and put it in the barrel. Sure is.
We just gotta make room in the truck.